Welcome to our video called How Websites Work, a Crash Course. In this video, we're going to talk about what actually happens whenever you visit a website on your computer, tablet, or smartphone. Now, you may not have realized it, but this process actually begins with you. Now, take a look on the screen and you're going to see a computer, and underneath the computer is a number. That number is called an IP address. Every device in the world that's connected to the internet has its own IP address, and it has to. An IP address is kind of like the street address of your house. If houses didn't have street addresses, whenever someone tried to mail you a letter, the post office wouldn't know where to deliver it. If your computer didn't have an address, whenever you tried to load a website, the website wouldn't know where to send that information. Now the next step in the process is when you go to a domain name such as reddit.com, facebook.com, or even blogwinners.com. And the first thing we'll talk about is what is a domain name, and David just answered that question. A domain name is a something.com, a something.net, a something.guru. There are all sorts of them nowadays. And how do you get a domain name? Well, there are a lot of companies out there that are called domain name registrars. We're going to recommend just one, and that's Google Domains. The reason we recommend Google Domains above all the other ones is that Google Domains offers a lot of services for free that other companies charge a lot of money for. Now, the next step in the process is the web hosting provider, such as WP Engine or GoDaddy. And if you look on your screen, you'll see our little graphic of the servers, and underneath that graphic is another number and another IP address. So just like your computer at home, the web hosting provider, or the server, also has to have an IP address so your computer knows where to look for the information. So what happens on your web server? Well, your server runs WordPress, and it hosts the files on your website. Now you'll probably notice there's a missing piece in the puzzle right in the middle, and that is going to be your DNS provider. So DNS stands for Domain Name System. Why do we need DNS? Well, it's a simple concept. When you type in blogwinners.com to your browser, that is just a word. But your computer has to know what the IP address is of the web hosting provider. So DNS translates blogwinners.com into an IP address like 104.18.44.55 or whatever it is. Because otherwise you'd have to remember IP addresses, which nobody would be able to do. So that's why DNS actually exists. The one that we recommend is Cloudflare, and Cloudflare is more than just a world-class DNS provider. It's also a CDN, or Content Delivery Network. Content Delivery Networks are essential for websites, because imagine this. You have a web hosting provider, and that's just one computer and one server in one part of the world, and that's what's supposed to host your website, and people from all over the world are connecting to that. What a CDN does is it distributes the files on your one server to their worldwide network of servers, which makes everything faster and a lot more secure, too. And Cloudflare is free, so there is really no reason not to use them. And finally, the last step of the process is when your web hosting provider sends all that data back to your computer. Absolutely, and then it shows up on the screen. So when does your website actually load on your computer, tablet, or smartphone? Well, the answer is now. So all of that has to happen in the background before a website can show up on your computer. And that's a lot. So there have been a lot of advancements in technology recently that have made websites load faster and faster and faster. What used to take 10 seconds to load then became 6 seconds, then became 4 seconds, and now people expect websites to load in 1 or 2 seconds. Now out of the box, WordPress takes 8 to 10 seconds to load a single page, and that's not acceptable. Because 8 to 10 seconds is way too long, and if somebody has to wait that long for one page to load, they're just going to leave, and then you don't get traffic, you don't make any money, it's bad. So what we're going to do in this course, and the reason we have this chapter, is we're going to show you how to set up your website for viral success, so that if your website goes viral like mine did, and you get a million hits, then you'll be all set and prepared for that to happen.